Good afternoon. My name is Georgia Caraolin and I represent Institute of Development and I will present to you the module Positive Psychology. First, let me tell you a little bit about myself and uh, the Institute of Development that I represent. Now, let's dig in into positive psychology. I'm going to start with a little quote by Dr. Martin Seligman, who is the father of positive psychology. Psychology should be just as concerned with human strength as it is with weakness. It should also be as interested in building the best things in life as in repairing the worst. Now, Dr. Martin Seligman is regarded, as I said before, as the father of positive psychology and officially initiated this branch of psychology in 1998 when he was serving as uh, the chair, as the president of APA, that is American Psychology Association. Positive psychology focuses on what is going well with people and on their positive traits in order to empower them to flourish and reach an optimum level of functioning. The field of positive psychology focuses at three different levels. The first one is the subjective level. It has to do with something that is subjectively positive, the positive experiences and emotions, happiness, meaning in life, optimism, hope and flow. The individual level has to do with the individual, him or herself. It's about the personal qualities, character strengths and virtues. Virtues is something that you hold very high and you want to live your life by that virtue. And that could be, for example, capacity for love. For other people, especially artists, is um, admiring the beauty of the world. Or it can be great creativity, wisdom or altruism. And group or community level, it has to do how we function as a group and is more, mostly correlated with uh, the de development of citizenship um, and nurture altruism, civility, social responsibility and ethics in general. Some of the cardinal concepts of positive psychology is, as mentioned before, optimism, hope, gratitude and joy, the subjective optimistic um, aspects, and investigate, investigates notions like individual character strengths, self-esteem and habits that build self-esteem and further elaborate character strengths and well-being. When all those bits and traits come together, they do create a meaningful life and a prolonged sense of purposeful existence. A common fallacy when you say positive psychology, people think oh, it's about thinking positive thoughts and being happy and I can do that because uh, you cannot think all the time positive thoughts and it's unattainable. Yes, of course it's unattainable. Life is not perfect neither of us is perfect and we will never be and that's kind of the beauty of it. Positive psychology is about what makes you feel good, what makes you feel good in general in your everyday life and what makes you feel good about yourself. Your self-efficiency, your self-worth, the feeling that you matter for others and that you matter for your life as well and that you are taking action. And when you feel like that, you also feel more optimistic and hopeful, which makes you more willing to take risks, risks, trying new stuff, and you actually found the magic recipe of being happy. And this is why I put it, this little comic, where did you find that? I've been searching for it everywhere. I created myself. We are the creators of our life and our happiness. Some benefits of strengths-based approach is that focusing on strengths rather than problems offer, offers control to the person and a new mindset. Resilience is improved, so you are more likely to endure some adversity or challenges that of course are, kinda, are gonna come in your way. Every day we face challenges. And with resilience, there are some added benefits like feeling special and valued, 
optimistic, understand life is a journey, so you understand that challenges are part of the plan, and sometimes you are even, okay, this is a challenge, I'm going to learn something new, so you approach life with more zest. For example, um, professional athletes, uh, they found out that when you ask them, how do you feel before a great ga um, very big game or something, they all say excited. They don't say anxious, they say excited. And this is the way that a positive psychology approaches life. Instead of labeling something as challenging and difficult, and why is this happening to me, and getting anxious, or how you are going to, to perform, positive psychology says, go out and play and try. Um, and it's better to do something wrong than not doing it at all. So uh, that was all with the theory.